everybody. Lisa Larson here uh, from Pause Talk Animal Communication and Reiki. As the name implies, I am an animal communicator and Reiki master. I am also a psychic medium and shamanic energy healer. So welcome. I get a lot of comments on uh, one particular video on spirit animals and uh, some questions as well. And I usually try to respond to those in, in written form, but I thought this time maybe I would give a shot doing this because some of these questions are questions that others have as well and may find a benefit to. And um, uh, if this goes well and you'd like me to do more of these, please hit the su subscribe and the like button and let me know. And you can ask your questions in the comments. So the one that inspired me to do this is a question by Vim83. She had several questions. And first of all, Vim, I'm very sorry to hear about the loss of your, your pup. And that's, I know that's really hard. But she had, uh, she had several questions. I'm going to start with some of the later ones first. She had um, the, the main one was how are animals still able to be around us after, after they transition to the spirit world? So the idea of have, being around us has to do with energy. All, all everything, all matter has energy. The, 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 the chair I'm sitting on has energy and vibration. It's very low energy and vibration, whereas humans and animals and body are higher than that. And spirit is even higher than that. So if you think about it, spirit, when we leave our body, we go to another dimension. We don't just, there's a, there's a concept that, that when we transition when human animal transitions, they go off into some faraway place in the sky. And I don't think of it like that. We go to another dimension. We're just, but we're right here. We're just vibrating at such a high rate. We in the, in, in body can't see them in spirit. And you might think of it as, as a helicopter blade. You know how a helicopter blade goes. So when it's, when it's going slow, we can see it. But when it's going really, really fast, we can't see it anymore. Well, that's like spirit is. And spirit is made of energy. And to, to the point of how can they still be around us after they transition is that there's no dividing line between energy. Energy is energy is energy. So think of it as this. If you walk into a room, you can't say, okay, you part of the air stay over there you part of the air stay over there. Uh, it's, it's all air, it's all going to intermingle and that's how energy is. So even though a body is not, I mean, a spirit is not confined by a physical body, it doesn't mean that their energy and their true soul and spirit isn't still with you. And it's not as though they're focused on us all the time as, as well. Think of it as, again, I'll use the room, room metaphor. You walk into a room and your friend Joe is standing at the other side of the room, but he's talking to other people. And you walk in and you, you say, oh, wow, there's Joe. Hi, Joe. And he turns towards you and he acknowledges you. His consciousness is now focused towards you. And then you can communicate with Joe. So that's how it is in the spirit world. It's, it's, it's that they are around, they're doing other things. They might be, you know, doing their spirit world jobs or, or learning or whatever. But when we think about them, when we talk about them, when we write about them, we turn their conscious awareness to us. That's when we can communicate with them. That's when we feel them. So uh, her second question about this is, won't their energy take another body and live in a new life? Well, yes, I do believe in reincarnation. Uh, first of all, I don't believe that the minute that we get over there, we turn around and, and, and start a new life. 
I do believe that we get over there. We have things that we need to learn there, just as we had things that we needed to learn here in life. And so it may take a while. And I don't like to use uh, actual timelines because really in spirit world, there's really no timeline uh, they don't they don't have a concept of time but it can take in what we consider a, a longer time they don't just turn around and do it but a lot of people will ask the question well how can you communicate with an animal in spirit if they're already reincarnated well this goes back to the idea of energy is energy is energy is energy you can't confine all energy and it's all about that consciousness so just because a spirit has reincarnated to a body and that's where most of their energy, their, most of their consciousness is focused in that body doesn't, doesn't mean that their soul isn't still everywhere and isn't still able to connect to the memories that they had from other lifetimes. So when I talk to a spirit on the other side who has reincarnated, I'm connecting with a part of their spirit who is, is accessing the memories from another lifetime. And the last question was, what is the point of spirits hanging around? Well, the point is they love you as much as you love them. They want to be near you. They want to, to be part of your life still, and they are. Just because you can't see them doesn't mean that they aren't there. They want to see you and connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. Their energy is still there. When they focus their attention here, they can be with us and feel us. So in, in, in that way, they don't miss us in the same way that we miss them because they can be here whenever we want them to be or whenever they want them to be, okay? I hope that um, answers those questions. Now, she had one more that was one more question that was a little bit more personal, but because she inspired me to do this video, I want to answer that question for her as well. She said um, that she, when her dog was ill, that she had a dream where she told told her, oh, the dog was a her, that she said to her, promise me you will never leave me. And she heard in a whisper, I promise. And she says, is it possible that she was coming through in my dream, although she was still alive? Yes, of course, of course. Our dream state is when our bodies, our spirit bodies have the option to go anywhere and do anything. That's when we can astral project and that's when we can go everywhere. So yes, absolutely, she can come to you. And I wholeheartedly believe that when she said she promised that she would never leave you, she never has. And her body may not have lasted like you wanted it to, like we all want our little fur babies' bodies to last, but it doesn't mean that she has ever left you. That's the reason she was able to say, I promise I will never leave you. So I hope this, this gives you some kind of uh, peace in, in how your animals are on the other side and how they are with us when when we still love them and miss them. And, and we just kind of have to know sometimes that, that they are there. Um, so again, if this is something that you uh, found valuable and you'd like me to do more in the future, please go ahead and leave your questions in the comments. Uh, now, this won't be answering questions about your personal animals. It's not going to be doing readings for your animals, but, you know, if you have questions about the spirit world, about animals in general, because I work with animals in body with behavioral problems and stuff like that too. So 
Um, if you have questions, go ahead, put them in the comments. Let me know that you would like me to do more of these. And for now, have a great weekend. And thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.